guys i've been waiting for this moment mimi i've been so excited about meeting you how are you doing well i'm doing okay and how are you uh, honestly or professionally? <laughs> professionally, I'm fantastic. Honestly, Andy was partying a little bit too hard last night. A little bit too much drink. Wow, you're making the most out of this, so you're doing great. Oh, but you're going to wake me up this morning. Uh, yeah, well, hopefully. Yeah? Uh, yeah. So, uh, you had a whole like day of press yesterday. You're doing more press today. Yeah. Tell me that you've been able to explore Madrid while you've been here. Uh, do you want me to tell you the truth? Or do you want me to tell you something that it will sound good? <laughs> we're we're going to do two versions. We're going to do professional and we're going to do honest interview. <laughs> I, I haven't had the time to to you know to explore Madrid. Maybe today in the afternoon we'll get to walk around a bit. Uh, but I had time to see the park in between here and the uh, in the the venue. So. Five five minutes walk away, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> but you've been working hard on the kind of pre-party circuit. Yeah. Um, you went to uh, Barcelona. Yeah, and this is the second one. This is the second one. Yeah, but yeah. you've got Amsterdam and and I have London. I have. I'm not going to Amsterdam. I'm going to London. London. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how are you finding this like, whole Eurovision? because it's crazy and I wonder with artists like you whether you really know what you're letting yourself in for sometimes no I had no idea yeah, <laughs> so yeah, no. I had no idea what, what I was getting myself into um, and I, I actually didn't even know that these pre-parties existed up until I won and they invited me and I was like what oh, this is a thing okay so I'm, I, th I guess I'm gonna go and then I discovered this whole new world um, but you know it's a it's a fantastic one because you know I've been super well treated I feel a lot of love coming my way um, and I've been getting all this support and all these interviews so I guess that people are interested to, to know what I'm going to, to do at Eurovision and, and what I am as an artist so I'm grateful for the the, the opportunity and the, the, the chance to experience this. This is part of the experience, I guess. So I just want to make the most out of it. Well, the support for you has been unreal ever since your song was first uh, published uh, as part of Festival de Cansao. Uh, the support for you has been massive. Um, and obviously your st story is a little bit different in the way that you submitted your song yeah, yourself. Yeah. Uh, we've heard you say that you kind of wrote it 10 years ago and you were yeah. sitting on it for 10 years, yeah. which is insane because it's a fantastic song. Yeah. But do you feel like you've achieved maybe something more because of the journey that you've had to getting to this point well maybe you know maybe this was the right time to be ready for this kind of stuff because if I if, if I've done it earlier I'm not sure that I would be you know with the right mindset to, to do this so I had to go through all the ups and downs of my my career up until now to to be ready for this moment to enjoy it fully so I guess that you know everything comes at the right time and I think it was the time for for I could have some and this has to be like your biggest achievement, right? Yeah, uh, it is. It is. Musically, is my biggest achievement. No, no doubt about it. Yeah. And uh, when you won Festival de Cancer, I want to know, like, what was your celebration? What did you do? And please tell me, like, I need some rock and roll story here. <laughs> no rock and roll story. I just went really? to party. I just went to party up until six. That's it. That's quite rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. You know, just call it rock and roll if you want to. I, I just, I didn't drink much. I just drank like a gin, and I went party and dancing because I needed to let my, you know, my stuff out. I let all my demons out because it was a lot of pressure during those weeks. I was sick. I had a laryngitis, and it, it was really hard to to get my vocal cords working properly again. Um, so you know, I, I needed to to let it all out. And at the the night that I won, I just went to the dance floor and I danced. Hey, are you a party girl? I am a dance girl. I, I, the concept of, of the party itself, yeah, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. It depends on the mood, but I really love to dance. So, you know, just leave me alone dancing and I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, I mean, you're dancing a lot on stage. And the thing I love about your song is there's uh, very different elements. Like there's, there's one part that kind of starts very cabaret. Yeah. We've got like the, I would say, can-can girls. Is that yeah. what it is? I don't know. It has a bit of everything. It has the, the burlesque um, element to it but it also has a western kind of vibe so the can can fits into it into it uh, it has so many different things uh, and we wanted to create a song that was you know constantly evolving and building up until the end so you know we have this, this these different parts where you can move in different ways so you have the bridge which is completely different and modern so it gives you a lot of is that the sexy bit yeah that's the sexy bit yeah 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 that's the sexy bit so yeah you know just just it's I think it's impossible not to move when you're listening to it yeah i'm well known for my fantastic oh, dance moves I see that. no no i'm really not but i might have to get you to uh, teach me some of the choreography and i've okay. actually made a deal with your delegation okay that if we get to do an interview in liverpool okay. i'm gonna wear a can can oh. skirt i'm gonna be mimi fied oh. and we're gonna do you can style me 
I will you style think? you. I will let my style style you as well. It will put you up in in jewelry and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> He'll style you properly. Yeah, I love being styled. Yeah. I'm just rocking this Eurovox T-shirt and, and, normally and, you know, every day. And if you do get uh, an interview in Liverpool, which I'm, I'm we will get it. Well, yeah, you'll you'll fulfill that promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Yeah. Have you been to Liverpool no, yet? No, it's my first time. Really? Yeah, yeah. Never been there. And I actually don't know much about the city uh, other than what everybody knows um, about the Beatles and all that stuff. So I have no expectations. So it's I, I'm a, a, a white canvas at this point with my expectations to Liverpool. So I just think I'm gonna you know enjoy it. I feel like when we get there, we're gonna need to take you on a little tour of Liverpool and show you some of the sites. I'm up to it. This is actually a really a really fun city. So okay, okay. I know that your vision is very very busy, but okay. you're going to get some yeah, time to kind of time, chill yeah. out and yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully do a little partying yeah, just as call well. Me anytime. Yeah, yeah, just call yeah, man. Me, yeah. Mimi, Mimi, and Andy. I, I need a Mimi cat type name. Oh, um, uh, and Andy cat. Can we can we put Andy put, cat? Can we put Andy cat? <laughs> I was just thinking about the Andy cat. Andy cat and Mimi cat doing Liverpool. Yeah. That sounds like a, a day that's movie. That's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, other than kind of getting ready for Liverpool, are you going to have some time to kind of chill out? And how do you keep yourself grounded? I don't. You don't seem sometimes. nervous. You're very like chill. Well, you know, I'm I'm a grown woman, so <laughs> I've learned to manage my emotions uh, in a balanced way because I have two kids. I'm a mom. Uh, and I have to be balanced for them as well. So, you know, I've learned to manage uh, all these different kind of feelings. We, we do feel in this kind of things because you feel excited, but then you feel tired. So I'm trying to not be over the moon uh, and down all the time. Um, and I'm taking this in a very light way. You know, it's 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 fun. It's supposed to be uh, enlightening as well. And it's, I mean, you know, it's supposed to be social. I, I, I'm supposed to... to talk to as much as, as many people as I can and to enjoy the, the people as much uh, as I can so I'm just taking it light you know it doesn't need to be tiring although sometimes it is you know because you, we do have a lot of, of things to do in Portugal as well you know I have the, all these interviews and all these um, appointments in TV and all that uh, but I'm taking it slowly as, as slowly as I can uh, and as cool as I can yeah and what a great inspiration for your kids tell us about your kids well, my my oldest is four, and my little one is one is turning one this uh, the, on the twenty fifth actually, uh, which is which is very very uh, cool because we have a, a national holiday. It's the day of the revolution, so yeah, he's yeah. yeah, like a, a fighter. Um, but yeah, I don't know. My my old my oldest is is four. He doesn't have a clue of what's happening really. He just saw me on TV, and he wanted his mommy at home Aww. because he wanted mommy to sing his lullaby to sleep. That's, that's our routine uh, and I think that they're starting to he's starting to realize that mommy's not gonna be there all the time in this period um, but yeah they're, they're, they're cool with it you know and they have a great dad so yeah I'm just I'm just you know relaxed and when they're older and they know kind of what you did at Eurovision you're in such a select group of people yeah. now it's gonna be so inspirational for them to see and they're gonna be uh, I imagine it's weird for them watching and thinking that's my mum but she's on TV doing this yeah. massive thing but what an inspiration for your kids yeah I, I really want them to feel proud of my achievements as um, as a person and also as a professional and one of the the, the things that I thought about uh, when I submitted my own song was that well do I want to keep you know waiting to be invited and waiting for, for life to happen or do I want to you know take a, an active part on it um, and that's something I want to pass on to my kids you know just if you want something go grab it just don't wait for it to come to you um, and what it got me so far you know is, is amazing so I want them to actually know that, okay so when you go and you try to grab your stuff it works uh, so just you know, just go for it and may, hopefully they'll, they'll be proud of what I'm doing oh what a fantastic message to end on guys but before we do wrap up you've got so much support out there not only from portuguese fans but lots of people all around well the world really loving your song have you got a message for our viewers and all your supporters i absolutely do i've been getting all this love from you guys so i want to thank you so much for you know for this opportunity really for believing in me and you know supporting my song sharing to it dancing to it having fun to it that's all it is about so thank you so much keep supporting watch the performances in liverpool and you know just everywhere if you want to just be aware of this acting stuff 
uh, at the at these parties because it's gonna be amazing. And you know, just keep cheering for us. We need you. Okay, so mwah, big kiss to you all. Oh, Mimi Cat, thank you so much, and we will catch up with you again later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna. We're going, we're going partying. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, thank. You.